Hi guys, Gadget Girl Kylie here, and today I'm bringing you a quick comparison video of Invisimals on the Sony PSP compared to Invisimals on the Sony PlayStation Vita. So I just want to take a brief moment to explain what kind of game Invisimals is. For any of you Pokemon lovers out there, you'll enjoy this game thoroughly. Basically, you have these creatures called Invisimals, which you can see on the box art here. There's various different ones. You capture them and you can train them up and use them to battle. You can only see them using the PSP camera, which you hook up to the PSP, and obviously the integrated camera on the Sony PlayStation Vita. And you will need this trap here, which you get when you buy a physical version of Invisimals on the PSP. Now you can download and print off a image of this and I'll put the link in the video description for any of you guys that are buying this for the PS Vita. And this trap allows you to battle with the creatures so this is how the camera picks up the creatures and puts them onto your screen. Obviously the game has a storyline but I don't want to go into that on this video because I don't want to spoil it for anyone who hasn't played it. And I also want to take a brief moment to say, guys, that I will be doing a Let's Play of all of these games on my Sony PlayStation Vita. So feel free to subscribe to me if you want to check that out. So now I'm moving on. Okay, guys, so as you can see, I'm using my PSP 2000 model for this video. I've got my trusty camera hooked up here so you guys can see the Invisimals in action and obviously I've got my trusty Invisimals trap which will allow me to show you the Invisimals on the PSP screen. So for now I'm just going to briefly show you a dragon on the trap so you guys can obviously compare what the camera quality is like. Hopefully this will show it clearly on this video while filming. So you can see here, I'll just give him a little poke there, he doesn't like that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I think now is a good time for me to back out of this and I'll go to the world map and briefly show you guys a fight. So obviously you can compare The quality. Oh yeah, almost dead. Okay, so that was just a quick battle on the PSP 2000 model and now I'll show you monsters in the catalogue on the PS Vita version and also a battle on that so you guys can see the difference. Okay guys, so I'm back with my Sony PlayStation Vita and the first Invisimals game. I have transferred my save because I obviously wanted to show you the same monsters as I used on the PSP 2000 for a better comparison. So let's get this one out. First of all, I want to hold the screen just to show you guys what settings I've got on. So I've got bilinear filtering on. I do not have color spacing on, um, so I'll show you it with color spacing on shortly. But first of all, I want to show you this monster on the trap so you can see the difference so already I can straight away tell the colours are more vibrant and everything but that's to be expected to be honest just 
move the trap over there. It all looks great. Um, the monster looks a lot more sharp to me. Um, and obviously the camera quality is a lot better, which is to be expected. So coming out of this now, um, I will do a fight again. Same one again, only this time I'm fighting a different monster, but I'm still using my fire dragon. down. You win. Okay guys, so now I'll just show you the PS Vita version next to the PSP version and you can see the difference on the screen. Okay guys, here you can see that I've selected the Ice Dragon from the catalogue and I've got my PSP 2000 right next to my PlayStation Vita and straight away you can see the difference in quality on the PlayStation Vita which is to be expected. So I do have bilinear filtering on on the PlayStation Vita right now so I'm going to briefly turn it off and show you guys the difference. Now, I have noticed a slight difference. I don't know if you'll be able to see that on the camera, but there is a slight difference. It does reduce the quality, in my opinion, so I will be keeping bilinear filtering on when I play Invisimals on my PlayStation Vita. Okay, guys, so that was a quick comparison video of Invisimals on the Sony PSP compared to Invisimals on the Sony PlayStation Vita. I hope this video has been helpful for you and you've been able to see the differences between the two and you've been watching Gadget Girl Kylie. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're interested in watching my Invisimals Let's Play. Don't worry, I will be starting a new game, however I will be transferring some of my Invisimals over, but they will be level 1 Invisimals, um, just a few different random pups to keep the game interesting. Okay guys, thanks for watching.